Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to talk about the advanced installation process for a cloud first install where we're going to be installing the on-prem web console. The console is required for some of the final steps of the installation of Landsweeper to be able to get that communication and have that configuration made to be able to communicate up to the cloud. After that, the on-prem console is no longer needed. So for that, let's jump right into my server here and see what these steps take. So here on my server, I have created a app.landsweeper.com account. I've created my company called company name for my site, and I have downloaded the installer. One thing that I wanna make sure that we specify here for the IIS services, it's important that you first install the database, then the scan server before we do this installer. But with that, let's jump in and start this installation process. Let me shrink that down and let me grab my installer and initiate this install. Accept my terms of use. I want to make sure I'm going to do the advanced install. And for this, make sure we do select the SQL server. I'm going to only select the web server down here. And again, the web server can be combined with another service of some sort. So if you wanted to maybe save some compute and so forth, you could actually throw it on to another service, um, combine them. But for now, for my particular install, I'm only going to do the one on a web server. Next, it's going to ask me for the server, the SQL server itself. If you're installing the web service, like I said uh, previously, on the database server, you can just type in localhost here. Otherwise, I'm going to type in and put in my server name. And for my authentication, I'm just going to do a Windows authentication. If you do have SQL server authentication in place, you can select that as well. Do those proper configurations. And right here, you can see that it's beginning to do those tests against the database to make sure that everything's going to work correctly. The website services uh, or ports, we can um, use the defaults, port 81 for HTTP and 82 for HTTPS, or you can change them, of course. Hit next. And finally, it's asking me for the installation location. I like to leave these as defaults, so I'm just going to hit next and let this install continue. And then after you've finished, this window is going to open up and it's going to give you two different windows here in your browser. One is to talk to sales, get some support or, you know, connecting with our community um, at community.landsweeper.com, connecting with your peers, getting KB articles and so forth. We'll get you there. Closing this out, we can see here now is where for our cloud first installation, where we're going to be choosing that we want to manage this in the cloud. This choice down beneath here is for the on-premise installation, which we are not wanting to do in this install. We're wanting to manage in the cloud. So I'm going to click on cloud management, goes through as you can see all the checks to make sure that works. It's asking me now for my linking code. If I come back over here to my install, I can get my linking code right here and copy my linking code, come over back, paste it into my install and hit next. And the install will just continue on its way. It's now linked to the cloud. I click finish and it brings me into app.lensuper.com into my, as it says up here, into my company name that I have put in and I am ready to go. So in, uh, Landsweeper is now running the first set of scans that it has done. It's going to be going through the first initial scan of the credential-free device recognition, as you can see here, and begin propagating the first scan of assets into your environment. I hope that is helpful. That is the conclusion of this particular video where we're going to be walk where we have walked through the process of installing the IIS on-prem web console. But again, as you saw, the only purpose for that was to be able to get you get you connected and into app.landsweeper.com for that data to flow. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, reach out to our support or our sales team. I look forward to hearing the successes you have in discovering things you didn't know existed on your network. Happy sweeping.